Honeybees are native to North America. Honeybees are insects. If insects are supposed to have been here before mammals, and we share mammals with Europe, many mammals, I mean directly, the young mammals, how could we not share the older honeybee insect? We have bison native to Europe. We have bison native to North America. We have wolves native to Europe. Wolves native to North America. And these will breed together. We have elk in Europe. We have elk in North America. We have moose in Europe. We have moose in North America. We have caribou and reindeer in North America and Europe. We have all these animals in common, plus a lot more. Rabbits, squirrels, many rodents. Okay, that's science. We also found more scientific evidence that honeybees are native to North America. They have just recently discovered a honeybee fossil in Nevada, in North America. And they gave it a new name because, hey, the people that discovered it want credit. However, it is exactly duplicate of the ancient honeybee ancestor that was found in Germany. So it's the same one, Apis mellifera mellifera. We had honeybees in North America prior to the white man bringing them. They were trying to claim they were imported in 1621 and then again the Italian in 1857. However, we are still importing honeybees. We import them from Australia every single year we import millions from Australia. We've always imported honeybees. Just because the new people who had just come to North American eastern coastline imported some honeybees before they even explored North America doesn't mean they weren't here. They were importing many things that were already here. Things they needed. They even imported hay and we had a whole prairie of grassland they hadn't discovered yet. There's only two reasons that they say honeybees aren't native to North America. One, there's a quote from a Native American, we don't even know who it was, who called honeybees, according to Thomas Jefferson, the white man's flies. Now I do not believe that. Nobody is stupid enough to confuse a fly with a honeybee. I know that racism can often cause people to call flies someone's flies because I was watching Archie Bunker or Chico and the Man once when I was a child and I remember Chico saying, your flies are going to breed with my flies and they were talking about Cuban flies or whatever, Puerto Rican flies breeding with his flies and uh, it was just a bunch of bull. The, the truth is honeybees are native to North America because I just know this. There's no way they couldn't be. We've got basswood trees in both countries, native to both, and they require honeybees to pollinate them. And of course, we know the Indians kept lots, well, Native Americans kept lots of um, honeybees and log hives in the forests. We also have legends of bears and bees among the Indians. There's, there's nothing to this. And um, National Geographic and History Channel want to conclude that honeybees aren't native, but they accidentally made some movie some documentary where they had uh, shown how the Mayans or Aztecs had made these mannequin dummies and they were putting honeybees in them to sting people at night if someone bashed them and they were like little uh, hollow mannequins with honeybee colonies in them and I was thinking come on guys whoever made this is stupid because you're trying to say that honeybees aren't native and how more they were gonna get honeybees to put in there but it, they were showing real honeybees because they were reenacting it with real honeybees and putting them in from packages, but I tried to find that on the internet and I couldn't find it again, but I had found it that eight years ago. Anyway, I'm not that good with a computer, but I can tell you right now honeybees are native. There's no way they couldn't be. And it's ridiculous to say they're not. And the other science is, oh, I saw this in my uh, Bee Journal magazines I used to get about 20 years ago, and they said honeybees aren't native because New World plants in the order of the, um, oh look, I've got me a new uh, colony going into a new nuke. That's awesome. The swarm is coming into this new nuke. Awesome. Great, great. Anyway, the uh, thing showed that um, the New World order of plants uh, called um, a black nightshade, um, deadly nightshade, whatever you want to call it, that was not required um, of honeybees to pollinate them. So that to them proved that there were no honeybees 
um, in North America. But I have to tell them they don't know much about plants because the eggplant is from India, and that's not the New World. And they had plenty of honeybees, even different species. We've only got one species, Apis mellifera, which the uh, fake killer bee, African killer bee, is Apis mellifera as well. It's not another species. But India's got Apis dorsata and Apis serrana, which is, as far as I know, there's only three races of honeybees in the world. It's Apis mellifera, which has subspecies, Apis serrana, which has subspecies, and Apis dorsata. They're all distinctly different from each other, and they cannot inbreed or out, they cannot breed together. Anyway, that's a fact. I challenge anyone to prove to me, challenge you, to prove to me that honeybees are not native to North America. Yeah, I don't want you just regurgitating books because I've read more than you. I'm telling you, I've read so many hundreds of books and some of them are over 200 years old and I own them. And they do talk about native black bees, Apis mellifera mellifera, and the black bee is going extinct. There's very few people who have them alive and they're going extinct because the yellow bee, Apis mellifera, the subspecies Lingustica, is outbreeding them. And adaptive radiation created the subspecies of bees because yellow reflects heat. And so the yellower bees were in southern Italy until we started moving things around. And we did import yellow bees here because we're in the northern hemisphere and um, the um, yellow bees we thought would do better in 1857 because well, we just had black bees and black bees absorb, they, they don't reflect heat, they absorb heat so they're the northern bee. As you go in Europe you had the yellow bees before modern transportation which were in southern Italy and northern Africa. They reflect heat because it's hot there. And as you got higher up you went into the Alps of Italy and you got the Carniolan which is from the country of Carniola, the area of Carniola which is the Alps of Italy the bees started to turn a little more dark, so they were sort of a yellowish, grayish, um, darker color. Then, as you got farther north, they all became black, which was Apis mellifera mellifera, because that was needed. But now, all the bees of the world are becoming plain old mixed up gray bees, because the ones in the forest are dying off. Because man has created a new mite. It's called Varroa destructor, and I don't know how it was created, but we once had a mite called Varroa jacobsoni, which lived only on serrana and dorsata species, and it fed on males only, drones. And then it suddenly, in the late 80s and 90s, became a new mite called Varroa destructor, and it feeds on female bees as well, spelling a malignant death of the hive. Whereas hosts normally don't die from their parasite. Um, in this case, it's very unnatural that it kills the bee. As a matter of fact, beekeepers who keep serrana and dorsata enjoy Varroa jacobsoni because the drones generally just tax the hive and drain the hive. They're only needed for, for mating. And now this new mite gets on Apis mellifera, and we never had a mite on it. And it eats the females and the brood, and, and it's just awful. And so our forests no longer create a color of bee for us that does best in our area. Now the bees have to rely on the beekeeper to make them survive. And so we trade bees amongst ourselves. So we have queens of various colors, but our general workers are all this color. I don't know if you can see close enough, but they're all this color. Let me see if I can find some more bees that are thicker, show you some different colors. Can you see those colors? They're all just sort of a yellowish, and sometimes you'll see a black bee in there, sometimes a gray bee. The only thing that's different in my hives is the queens can be a different color. But this does not indicate the strength of a hive when you see a lot of bees on the outside of a colony. All that means is that there's no nectar out there. It doesn't mean there's no ventilation either because this is screen bottom board. Another myth, when your bees are washboarding, it means they have nothing better to do then sit around. If you want to get rid of this, want them to quit hanging like that, you just get a feeder out there and they'll stop hanging because they have nothing to do right now. The nectar's not flowing in the plants. The temperature's got to be right. The humidity's got to be right. The time of day for plants to produce the proper amount of nectar for bees to work it. You'll generally see pollen gathered in the early morning hours. And um, 
More on that later. Bye.